chorus section that's played like this. I'll give you a preview right now. It's a chorus section. Check it out. So like the, oh, one more time, I'll give you a preview. So one, two. So, okay, okay, so that's that. Okay, now let's teach you how to play the chorus, okay? So, the chorus is really simple. The reason is because it's actually only two notes for the right hand, but it's like in a particular order. That's the hard thing about it because it's a lot, a lot of repetition of the same notes, but it's in a specific order, okay? So, teach you the order, really simple once I teach you these patterns, okay? So, the first part, let's split the chorus into two parts. The first part goes like this. Firstly, three D flats, one, two, three, and then three E flats, one, two, three, and then it goes two D flats, E flat, D flat, E flat, and then E flat, D flat, E flat, and then E flat, and then E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, like that. So make sure you write down the notes, obviously, because how else are you gonna remember it? Okay, but anyway, yeah, one more time for this first part. So it goes like this: three D flats, one, two, three, three E flats, two D flats, E flat, D flat, E flat, E flat, D flat, E flat. E flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, like that for the right hand. Okay, the left hand is just the same four chords that you know. Two hands together goes like this, so it goes D flat and G flat managed together. 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 Time for this first part, so it goes like this of the chorus. So together, 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 just like that. Okay, and then the second and last part of this chorus section goes like this. Once again, right hand it goes three D flats, three E flats, and then once again goes D flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat. And repeat those five notes again. D flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat. Repeat those five notes once again for the third time. So the second part's more easier, more repetitions there. Okay, so the second part you can break it up like this. So three D flats, three E flats, and then the five note motive, D flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, repeating for three times. The so second time, and then third time. Okay, that's the easy pattern for learning the second part of this chorus. Okay, left hand, same four chords that you know. Two hands together goes like this, D flat and G flat major together. 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 So the second one is pretty easy because it's actually just like pretty straight uh, explanatory. There's no like, uh, it's like no splitting out of groups. It's all in groups like this. Together. Oops, sorry. Together. And then together. Repeating the same pattern. Repeating the same pattern for like one. Just like that. Simple. Okay. Let's see the same pattern for the chorus. Just like that. Simple. Okay. So that's the chorus. After the chorus section, it goes to goes back to this verse. Two that you remember, okay? So remember verse two, not verse one, verse two, okay? So you know that already? Simple. And after verse two, it goes to the bridge section.